Hi guys, it's your girl Bianca coming to you from the Beaches brand with another look right here. This look, I do not know where I got the inspiration from. Um, I just was feeling green. So I decided to name this look Money Talk Bullshit Walks because I was feeling spicy. So yeah, I created this look um, using a bunch of affordable products. And it was just fun, kind of was just going with the flow, winging it. And yeah, you know, I hope that you guys enjoyed the look. Please, please, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to share this video. You always can hit that good old notification bell, girl, so that you can make sure when I upload my videos, you get notified, okay? So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look right here, Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss it. Just stay tuned. Mwah. All right, my beautiful people. We are going to jump right into this tutorial. Um, and per usual, I'm going to start off with my brows. And as always, you guys should know this. I use it in every video. I'm going in with my RK by Kiss Go Brow Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Deep. Ladies, um, I can't express this enough, you know, your eyebrows, especially if you, you have thick or fuller or bushy eyebrows, they will never look the same. You can try, but for the most part, they will never be identical. So just follow the natural shape of your brows. If you don't have thick brow hairs or any brows um, like I do, then um, you can definitely draw the desired shape that you want. But if you do have thicker brows, um, such as myself, then you can just go in and fill them in with whatever product you want. In this case, I like the brow pencil because it's not too harsh um, and I feel like it gives my brows just enough um, coverage. So, you know, where it's a little sparse, I can just use this pencil to fill it in. And uh, like I said, I still can get a nice uh, shape with the brow pencil. So, yeah, try the brow pencil if you don't want super harsh brows or anything too dramatic. Um, I feel like the brow pencils are definitely a more natural way to go. Okay guys, now here I'm gonna clean up the brows just a little bit. I'm not gonna be too dramatic with it um, and go with a shade that's too, too light. Um, then my skin tone, I'm gonna go in with my, this is my MAC Mineralized Concealer in the shade NC50. Really, really love this concealer for a natural finish. And per usual, I'm just going to clean up my brow just to give um, the brow a sharper look. I'm not going for anything drastic, so it won't be too harsh, but yeah, I want to clean up those brows. Um, as I stay always, going over top of the brow is definitely optional. I do like to do this um, just to clean up the top of my brow and really give my brow a shape. And I like going in with this concealer because, like I said, it kind of blends right in with my skin tone so it's not too harsh and doesn't leave that uh, halo effect under or above my brow. And then I'm just going to repeat the steps on the same side. Another reason I like this concealer is because it has a little applicator on it. So it makes it a lot easier to kind of like, you know, put on your skin. You don't have to worry about using a brush um, to apply this concealer on your skin. And then I'm going to just take my buffer brush. This is one of the br uh, brushes that I've gotten off of Amazon. And I'm just going to blend that out so that it's nice and seamless and that we don't have those halo brows and everything just blends out nice and even into my skin. And you'll see me go back and with my brow pencil just to make sure um, I am cleaning up everything nicely or filling in areas that I missed. 
Now because my brows are so wild, you'll see me take my scissors there and just cut my brow hairs a little bit. Um, those that don't want to stay in place or just, like I said, they're just too wild for their own little good. And then I'm going in with my drugstore primer. This is the Maybelline, um, I think it's called Baby Smooth Skin Baby Instant Pore Eraser. Just gonna go in and prime my whole face. Now for the eyes, guys, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, this is her uh, collab with Morphe. And I'm going in with that burnt orange shade. Um, actually, it's like a, I would say like a burnt, like a brick color. It's showing up more orange on camera, but looking at the palette is definitely like a brick color. Um, I do not know what in the world I did with the um, plastic cap that goes over it that have the shade names on there. So you guys will just have to see me point to the colors on the video i do apologize about that but girl ain't nobody holding on to no plastic piece of paper for no names so i'm going in with my um coastal scents blending brush uh this is just one of their uh, their brushes don't have names or numbers so it's just one of the synthetic blending brushes and now i'm going in with that um it's like a brownish red uh, color is a little shade a shade darker than the first color we put down still in that burgundy family um, And I'm just gonna put that right in my crease or right beneath uh, that color that we put down and Lastly, I'm going in with this dark green shade. Um, it's it's like a like a forest green, it's really, really dark. On camera, it looks more gray, um, but it's definitely like a forest green. Um, and I'm just going to smoke out my crease and put that right on top of that brownish red shade that we put down, the second color. And I'm just gonna blend this out so that it's nice and seamless. Um, you don't really have to worry about getting it nice and even because we are gonna go in at some point and either cut the crease or do a halo eye. So you just wanna pack this color on. And as you can see, I'm just doing tapping motions and then softly uh, doing windshield wiper motions. And I'm just blending out the uh, edges of the shadow so that they all blend in seamless together. Now you'll see me go back in with that reddish brown shade just to blend out that green a little bit so that, like I said, is not too, too harsh. You always want to make sure you go back in, guys, and blend your colors out because once you start to place uh, more shades down, you will start to lose your color. So just as I'm saying, you'll see me go in and just pack that green back on um, so that the color is nice and vibrant. And then, of course, we want to blend that out again. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just going in with uh, whatever product is left on the brush. Okay, and then we're just gonna do the same thing on the opposite eye, um, guys, and just kind of make them look as even as we possibly can. Sorry if you guys can hear the yelling in the background. It's kids outside my window. So now I'm going in with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 02. And I'm going to, at first I was going to cut my crease, but then I decided I always cut my crease. I'm just going to do a halo eye. And it's almost like a cut crease, but you're not starting in the beginning. You're kind of just carving out a little piece um, of the eye in the middle. Um, so it's, again, it's not like a full cut crease. It's almost like a half cut crease, but like I said, you're not bringing uh, that crease line or that cut line um, in the inner corner. You're kind of sticking to the middle of your eye. So I am using um, a small, uh, I don't know, I think this is my MAC 
I don't remember what um, what brush this is. I do know it's my MAC brush. I'll have it in the description bar below. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut my eye. Um, just cut some, a middle, a little piece of the um, middle of my eye there so that we can place that nice bright green color that you guys saw. And um, you don't have to worry about being too clean with this because we'll blend out the edges once we go in and start adding our pigment. Now, uh, one thing about this is um, you do, uh, if you have uh, hooded eyes like myself, you may want to go a little above your crease line so that you can have a little bit more space to play with. Um, I don't really care about having hooded lids. There's no rules to make up, so I do my thing and I definitely go above that crease line um, to, to uh, make my eye appear a lot bigger than what it is. So I'm going to take that same buffing brush and I'm just going to buff this uh, base out a little bit so that when we put our pigment down, it's not so wet um, and the pigments don't uh, really stick to it or they don't start to crack. So now I'm going in with my Mayo Makeup Pigment, this lime green. I don't think they have uh, shade colors either. So um, it's just the lime green that is in the bunch there. And OMG, look at that green. Girl, that is so gorgeous. Um, their pigments is definitely bomb. I was just playing around. This was my first time really using a brighter pigment such as this. And it was starting to crack a little bit in the middle. Um, but I don't know if it's just my inexperience with playing with pigments or if it is just, I don't know, the pigment itself. But they are really easy to work with. Um, I think I just need to play around with it a little bit more um, so that they don't crack or maybe put down a shadow next time and then lay the uh, pigment on top of the shadow. So I'm just going in with the middle, uh, in the middle of my uh, lid with that uh, lime green color and then I'm going to take this green here and kind of just pack it on so it's just a darker green I'm still very vibrant look at those pigments honey. Um, and I'm just going to pack this on in the front and on the outer corner of my eye so that way um, we can have two different shades of green like I said guys I was just winging it I didn't really know what I wanted to do so I'm going to go back in with my coastal sense brush and I'm just going to kind of blend these two colors together um so that they are nice and vibrant but it ended up just looking like one big one color actually so it's all good so to blend those edges out, I'm going back in with that deep green from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to blend out those edges a little bit. And then you'll see me going back and forth between the dark green and the pigment. Um, just to make sure I'm not losing the pigment color. But to also make sure that those corners are blended out, out nice and seamlessly. Um, so that there's no harsh lines, guys. Okay guys, so I do clean up my face off camera and then I also added some lashes. So now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hill Cream Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso. Um, I absolutely love this foundation. Uh, before, I didn't really like it because I felt like it made me oily. But if you set and prime your face right, um, this is actually a beautiful foundation to use. Whether you're using it for uh, foundation all over your face or for a cream contour. So I'm just going to buff this out with my e.l.f. Uh, buffing foundation brush. And yeah, I'm just going to get a nice seamless uh, look with my foundation. So now you'll see me going back in with that MAC Mineralized Concealer in the shade NC50. Um, I'm putting this down first because I just want to kind of cancel out any um, dark marks. I have bags and dark circles under my eyes. So I kind of wanted to put a natural uh, shade down before I actually went in with the lighter shade. Um, I'm actually gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep, which is a tad bit lighter than the uh, matte concealer. And like always, I'm gonna put the concealer under my eye. 
um, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, my chin, and down the bridge of my nose. So as you can see, um, the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer is a little bit brighter. Um, not too bright, not, it's not too big of a difference, but um, it's noticeable enough for me. And I like this one because I feel like I just get more coverage with this concealer. So I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush, guys, and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. And I like to use my foundation brush because um, it really blends in nicely into my foundation so there's no harsh lines between where my foundation um, or where my concealer stops or start. Um, it kind of all just blend in together. So I really, really like that using my foundation brush for those purposes. Hey guys, so I'm going to go back in with one of my Anastasia Belly Hill foundation sticks in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to use that to contour the uh, my forehead, chisel down those cheekbones, girl. And I'm going to contour my nose. Even though I really don't have to, my nose isn't really that big. But I like to, you know, if I'm going to put makeup on, girl, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, me. So yes, guys, I'm going back in with that same foundation brush and I'm gonna buff this out as well. Um, and I love these foundation sticks because I just feel like they give a flawless coverage. Um, I look nice and bronze and just brown and that's what I really, really like. I'm not the type of person to like a deep, sharp uh, contour. I really like it to look nice and warm as if I, you know, just got a little tan out in the sun or something like that and you know my skin warmed up just a little bit so nice something nice and bronzy and, and brown um, I don't really like that sharp chiseled look so yeah Okay guys, so I'm going in with um, a black eyeliner. I got this from Ulta, I don't know the name of it. It's just one of their cheap uh, ones that you can get for like $1.99 or $2.99. I'll have it in the description bar below for you guys. But yeah, I cannot remember the name of this for the life of me. Um, and so now I'm gonna go in and just take a pencil brush and kind of just um, smudge out that uh, bottom lash line and to smudge it out I'm actually using this color as a primer but I am going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Telepathy and y'all this is such a cute color I absolutely adore this color so much um, it's a beautiful like I don't know greenish yellowish I don't know reflex it has in it it's it's a gorgeous color so now I'm going in to set that under eye and I'm going to use my uh, real techniques blending sponge and I'm going to just set all the places I put that concealer and then I'm going to also scope out my cheekbones just a little bit so that my bronzy bronzy that I got going on can pop just a little bit girl and I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder um, to do this I also want to use this as a base for when I put down the glitter under my eye um, when if I have any fallout this powder will catch it when I sweep it away okay so now you'll see me going in with a very fine glitter um, from the company Lash by Dollface. I've mentioned her before on my channel. And I'm going in with 
a green glitter in the shade Poison Ivy. And I'm just gonna put this on my lower lash line. It's not really a chunky glitter, so unlike most um, tutorials you probably see, this is a very fine glitter, so you probably can't even tell that it's glitter on camera, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And it just went along with the different hues of green that we uh, put on, put down on our eye today. Okay, girl. So now you'll see me brushing that translucent powder away since I am done. And like I said, this is good to do um, if you're gonna work on your lower lash line with uh, glitters or pigments or bright colors because um, the powder will actually sweep away any fallout that you have. That way you're not messing up your foundation or concealer that you just laid down. Guys, I also forgot to mention that the uh, lashes I have on, they are from Fluttered Lash and it is in the style, um, oh crap, it is in the style I don't know. I thought I had the name on the top of it was on the top of my tongue, and now I can't remember. So it will be in the description box. I do apologize about that, guys. So now I'm going in with my all over uh, face powder by Mac. This is the mineralized skin finish in the shade dark deep, and I'm just gonna set. Um, all over my face and then just focus this color a little bit more heavier on the contour shade that we place down. Next I'm going in with a little highlight and of course it wouldn't be a tutorial if I didn't include Juvia's Place and I'm going in with the Royalty One um, Loose Highlighter. And I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks and my forehead, the bridge of my nose, or the little tip of my nose, my chin, and keep it well. So now I'm going in with my um, Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm just going to place this on uh, my upper and lower lashes. Um, I normally put this on before my falsies, but I don't know. Your girl was working backwards today. Don't mind me. And, and now I'm just blending everything in um, so that everything is nice and seamless. And I'm just adding a little bit more highlight. Actually, <laughs> actually y'all, I I apologize. I am now adding the highlighter that I told you, which was the Juvia's Place highlighter. Um, in the first clip, I think I was just blending out, um, blending out the powder that I laid down. I do apologize. Okay, now I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu setting powder in the shade Lavender. Well, not the shade, but the scent Lavender. And now I'm going in with an oldie but goodie, guys. I am going in with my ColourPop uh, lip liner. This is in the shade Bunny, um, like Easter Bunny. Um, so yeah, it is a beautiful shade, um, very pigmented. And then I'm gonna follow up with the Lipstick Bunny as well, which is this vibrant green. And every time I get this, uh, I wear this lipstick, believe it or not, y'all, I get so many compliments. It's just such a beautiful shade. Um, I don't think this is something that I would wear out unless I was like going out, going out. But yeah, this is a gorgeous shade, um, especially on someone with a um, deep uh, complexion. So yes, guys, this is the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So yeah, um, thank you again. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that get all notification bell, girl. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you all in my next one. 
Bye.